In this video, we're going to talk about the sexless marriage and the four indicators that this might just be how the marriage is always going to be. She may never change. Welcome back, guys. Garrett Prettyman here with Garrett Prettyman Coaching. You know, I always love going through the comments and the emails I get from you guys after I put these videos out to hear what's working for you, maybe where you think differently, or what challenged you. There are prerequisites for us to have some things in life. A stupidly simple example would be if you want a pet goldfish, then you need to have a bowl with water in it first. The water comes and then the fish. A lot of the things we're wanting on our relationship when shit has hit the fan is things that we really don't get to have yet. We haven't become a man yet that gets to have those things. Things like sex and intimacy and deep connection, vulnerability, and the ability to have fulfillment and spark in the relationship are not starting points. They're places we reach. So as I tell you these four things, I'm first going to tell you what is needed to possibly resolve that issue before you decide this is just who she is. Number one, despite you being a man who's very non-defensive about your intentions, she constantly criticizes you. A woman who's constantly critical is in a space that is not sensual. You can only provide so much container for her to let the guard down into. And if she doesn't step into that, that's her prerogative. Number two, even though you have been showing her appreciation and thinking of her in high regard, regardless of how she's being, she's full of contempt towards you. Contempt is a strong word. We all have faced what women are like when they look at us with contempt. That is a very distinct, vibe. And we are men that do not tolerate just any vibe to be thrown at us. Emotions are fine. Vulnerability is fine. Authenticity is fine. But there is a limit to what is respectful and what we will allow in our life. And contempt is not allowed. If your wife is in the space of contempt, even though you have done your work, that might just be the kind of person she is. Number three, you've become a man who takes responsibility for the energy you put out. You take responsibility for the feelings you have. She doesn't put those in you. That's your shit. Yet, despite you taking responsibility like that, she remains defensive and blames you for how she feels. If you're with a woman who constantly says it's your fault for how she feels, she has not matured into a person yet that realizes that feelings are the creation of our own thinking and our own body. Nobody's putting it in us. We have the choice to respond instead of react. Number four, you've learned how to manage your reactions. And you've learned how to set the tone and hold the vibe of relaxed confidence and openness towards her, no matter how she's being. Yet, despite you having created this safe space, she still stonewalls you and gives you the silent treatment. The silent treatment is incredibly immature. It is abusive. It is not something to tolerate as a high value man. You see yourself worthy of respect and worthy of connection and worthy of vulnerability. Now you lead it by being it first. But if she continues to demonstrate these immature traits, she may not be the woman of a caliber that you should be committing to. When it comes to these four things of contempt, defensiveness, criticism, and stonewalling, these are the traits of a woman who is about to end a relationship. She may be trying to get rid of a version of you and a version of the marriage that's in her head. And you need to be focused on where are you going from here? What are you creating from here? What's the high value you're bringing into your life? Not just in the sense of like money or physical protection or duties around the house. That's where our man brain goes initially. There's a deeper layer of being able to facilitate connection, authenticity, vulnerability, and to provide an emotional experience with another person that makes you a high value man. Keeping your eye on those things is where you need to move forward. And she will need to drop those other behaviors if she wants to join you on that journey. 
So although she may be the one that pulled sex off the table initially and maybe is on the fence about being married to you, you may find as you mature, you will pass her up and you will look back and realize, actually, this marriage did need to end because where we were is not where I want to go. And until she's ready to join me, she is not the right person for that. Now, trust me, I know the pain of taking the marriage behind the barn and putting a bullet through its head figuratively. Even if she files for a divorce, you still have to let go of your plans and aspirations and dreams and everything you thought was going to be your future. I help men get clear on what their future is. We are men that are going to be sitting around the fire at age 85, still petting our dogs and having deep, connecting, vulnerable conversations that leave us feeling inspired and united. And this experience first needs to happen with men before you can do it with a woman. There is a sense of separateness that we need to maintain from her to where we're bringing these to the table. We're not trying to take it from her. So to start this work, I strongly recommend you look into my Married Man's Vital Formula to Mask and Confidence course. This is a taste of what it is to learn the basics of being a masculine man in relationship. Until you are being the masculine in the relationship, do not expect her to be the feminine. When there's masculine and feminine, a natural attraction occurs. You don't even need to worry about it. So keep your focus on what you can do for you right now. If you'd like to reach out, visit the link below this video to secure your spot and read more information about this course. Registration closes at the end of this month and it'll be too late. It filled up pretty fast this last time around. So if you've been thinking about it, now's your time. All right, brothers, we'll talk again next time. Mm -hmm.